Hi, my name is Stephanie and I am an adult services librarian at Santa Clara City Library, Central Park. In today's cooking from home video, I will be showing you how to make a cream cheese, jalapeno, and sesame seed dip. This is a recipe that my mother frequently makes around the holidays or whenever there's a family gathering. Um, in this particular video, I'm going to be adding my own twist to the recipe by using a KitchenAid mixer. And so let's go ahead and review the ingredients that we'll need and just dive straight into the recipe. So as you can see, I have all of my ingredients and supplies laid out in front of me. The first thing I'm going to do is begin by adding in my cream cheese. And then I also have my jalapenos finely chopped in a bowl as well as some sesame seeds that I gently toasted on my stove. The really good thing about this recipe is that you don't necessarily have to measure anything. It's really a matter of preference. So if you want it to be more creamy, add in more cream cheese. If you want it to be more spicy, add more jalapeno or maybe use a chile serrano which would be a little bit more spicy. Um, and then you can use sesame seeds and toast them, or you can use anything but the bagel seasoning, which is also really good. and would give it a really good flavor because of all of the peppers and salts that are added to that. But in this specific recipe, I'm just adding in quite a bit of cream cheese um, because my mom and my boyfriend are gonna be eating this. So, Again, it's a matter of eyeballing it and then a matter of preference. So now I'm gonna be adding in my toasted sesame seeds. And then after that, I'm gonna be adding in my jalapenos. And then I took the liberty of mixing everything together in my kitchening because I wanted everything to get really light and fluffy and I didn't want it to be dense, um, which sometimes happens if you're mixing the ingredients straight into the cream cheese. Um, but I, I'm really pleased with, um, the effect that this gave the dip and it was just really good to enjoy with some crackers. And again, so as far as mixing time, I would say about 30 seconds to a minute. Again, it's really up to you. And then after that, you are welcome to plate this and enjoy with a side of crackers. So as you can see, this is what the completed dip looks like. And it was really tasty with a slight spice to it. So overall, really enjoyable and really easy to make. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more crafting cooking tutorials by Santa Clara City Library staff. Have a great day.